what's going on YouTube. It's GDJ Rob. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been real busy with work and life and all that fun shit. So I figured I'd do a, a couple videos today. This video um, I'm doing is because uh, my good friend uh, across the water, Gene Paul Ace Peter, uh, sent along a package today. Uh, me and him have been kind of um, hooking each other up with some books, so his package came in yesterday, and uh, I was really excited to get it. I'm starting off, um, he just, uh, what was really awesome about this package that he sent is that not only did he hook me up with some books, but he knows that my wife collects too, and he sent along some things that she would like, so and she really did. So once again, thanks again, Sean, she really appreciated it, and so do I. So we'll start off with my wife's stuff. Um, she's like a diehard Care Bears fan. Care Bears number 16. <clears throat> um, Dennis the Menace, the giant vacation special. Everybody loves Dennis the Menace. Um, Dennis the Menace number 101. <clears throat> Dennis the Menace num number 148. And my wife, she's got a pretty good collection, uh, especially a lot of the older cartoon books, even a lot of Golden Age. She has more Golden Age stuff than I do. So, um, sit along, uh, Zoo Funnies number one by Charlton. Really cool. I like these cartoon books myself. <clears throat> um, he hooked me up with, uh, Funny Animals number one by Charlton. And this is a Harvey, Harvey, Harvey Comics, little Audrey and Melvin. Cool little cover here. <clears throat> yeah, you can't help but love these cartoon books, especially me. Like, you know, a lot of this stuff, like uh, Sylvester, Tweety and Sylvester. I used to love watching Looney Tunes as a kid, especially on Saturday mornings. I was on for like a whole hour or so. I just love watching Looney Tunes. She also really digs Mighty Mouse, and he sent along, uh, which issue this is? It's Adventures of Mighty Mouse by Dell. She's got a pretty good collection of these going so far, so she was really happy to get this. <clears throat> but yeah, those are the books that he sent along, and once again, that was just totally awesome of him to do that. Um, now here's the books he hooked me up with. <clears throat> um, he knows I'm collecting Master Kung Fu, so he sent me along uh, Master Kung Fu number 17. This is actually this is essentially issue number one of this book. Uh, that actually has a Master Kung Fu title, so really stoked to get that. Um, knocks off another big, big issue, key issue for me uh, from my uh, Master Kung Fu run. So I was really excited to get that. He also knows I love the Silver Surfer, so he sent along some Silver Surfer stuff as well that's in here. Um, we got Volume Three, Issue Forty Three, and this is a What If uh, Number Twenty Two. What if the Silver Surfer had not escaped Earth? Really cool. So yeah, can't wait to read this stuff and stories. And finally, um, he knew that I was completing my volume one Silver Surfer run, and he told me he's like, "Dude, I'm gonna hook you up with these." And this actually completed my volume one Silver Surfer run. Um, <clears throat> so he hooked me up with issue number nine. Issue number 12. Some nice copy of that. These are all really nice copies. And then, uh, issue number 18. It's a little bit of a loved copy, but I don't care. It's the last nail in the coffin for, for me for that. So that, that I can always upgrade later. But I'm just happy to have this, man. It's an awesome book. Um, it's the only, uh, artwork to Jack Kirby did this in this book, too. The only artwork he did on the whole series. So, really cool. Um, thanks again, Sean, man. That means a lot, brother. So me up with that. Sean also knows that I like Star Comics and a lot of the Marvel comics they did back in the late, in the mid '80s or so, with a lot of cartoons from the '80s. Because I mean, shit, that was when the best cartoons were on TV. So he sent me along uh, the Inhumanoids number one. So now I gotta chase down the rest of these because love the Inhumanoids. I had. Pretty much most of those figures, especially the big 
big monsters. Who the hell doesn't want giant monsters like that? It's awesome. So yeah, <clears throat> awesome stuff. Um, this I had not seen. Um, I'm actually going to look the rest of these up. This is really cool. This is like a mashup of a lot of the different characters that were in um, Star Comics at the time that they were doing. This is called Defenders of the Earth. So, I mean, you have, like, the Phantom, you have Flash Gordon, uh, Ming the Merciless back there. I can't remember all the names of all these characters in here, but really cool stuff, and I'm glad I got it, because I'm going to look up the rest of them now. It looks like pretty good stuff, so that'll be pretty cool. Oh, this is another cartoon I liked. Uh, I believe this was, like, late 80s, early 90s. This was uh, Hanna-Barbera, Pirates of the Dark Water. Real cool show. Didn't last very long, but it was still awesome, I thought. So... I actually have, I found issues two and three of this. I think this is a six issue mini series. So those are awesome. Love that shit all day long. This stuff here, I used to love these figures. Um, this is a six part series Marvel did. The Visionaries, Knights of Magic, The Magical Light. So yeah, I'm going to hunt down the rest of these. Awesome stuff. Love the toys. They were amazing. Let's see here. Now we got some other stuff. There's a key issue here. Sean the She Devil, number four, first appearance of Mandrill. By the way, Sean, what's up with Mandrill? I, I don't know. Just want to know what's up with Mandrill. But yeah, it was really cool. Um, glad to have this. <clears throat> and me and Sean are both collecting Incredible Hulk. Um, <laughs> hey. He, he, I mean, we kind of hook each other up with Hulk books, try to help each other out, complete our run. Um, I think I'm, I'm a little, 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 little closer than Sean is, uh, especially now he sent me another issue. <laughs> uh, this is really cool, too, because most of the issues I need left are in the hundreds. So he sent me a nice uh, key. This is the first uh, Barbara Norris's Valkyrie, um, Incredible Hulk issue 126. So, yeah, really stoked to have this. Um, thanks again, Sean. So now I'm closer to completing my Hulk run and one issue closer. Um, here's some more Silver Surfer goodness he sent along. Um, the Silver Surfer, I've not read this yet, the Requiem storyline, issue number one. Issue number two. I love the artwork on this, man. That's cool. Him and Spidey sitting there. That's awesome. Issue number three. Issue number four. So that was really cool. And then he sent this. I've not read this either, too. This is supposed to be good. It's called Silver Surfer uh, In Thy Name. So got some cool covers. I'm really uh, looking forward to read this, too. I love Silver Surfer. Here's issue number one. Issue number two. Issue number three. Issue number four. So yeah, man. Awesome. Sean also hooked me up with some issues of Ghost Rider. Uh, he knows I'm trying to knock out my uh, Ghost Rider Volume 1 run. Sent me uh, issue number 20. <clears throat> Issue number 62, it's fighting Arabian Night. <clears throat> and the final issue, issue number 81, it's where the demon leaves Johnny Blaze. So, real cool. This is the Ghost Rider I like. I also like the other Ghost Rider too, the original one. I think they call him the Phantom Rider, was the name was changed to that. The, the, the guy that's in all white, that's in the, rides a horse, it's really cool. Uh, he also sent me here's another issue of Silver Surfer Volume 3, issue number 45. Love this cover. It's awesome. So, yeah, man. Really, really happy he hooked me up with these books. Uh, this is uh, by Avatar Press. This is Frank Miller's Robocop, number one. Love Robocop. He knows that. So, thanks, man. That's cool. Love this shit. So, I'm going to look up the rest of these. Check these out. Um, Tomb of Dracula, number 19. We both collect that, so we have to find some extras or something. We kind of hook each other up, so it's really cool. Awesome book here. And finally, um, Howard the Duck. You know, like Howard the Duck, this is the 
issue number 21, Power of the Duck. So, awesome stuff, Shara, man. Thanks a lot, brother. Really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I'll probably end up doing another video today. I've got a bunch of other stuff, so maybe two videos. So I just want to try to make this one as quick as possible. Anyway, guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.